Don't call it the Academy Awards, it's the Oscars this year. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Bird for Star Pulse and we are live on the red carpet from the Oscars. We've got Seth MacFarlane hosting and we've had a surprising award show season and it culminates all into Hollywood's biggest night. Well, we last saw you guys in Chicago, so you were halfway through your trip. What was the second half of the trip like? It just got like bigger and better, right? Yeah, it really did. People started to catch on what we were doing. We had more lead time to promote our, our stops. Crowds got bigger and bigger. It was it was pretty bananas. I saw you in a pizza place, so I know that you went to more glamorous stops along the way. I saw the All-Star Game for NBA. What was that like? Pretty amazing. I mean, we got this guy in the hands of the biggest players in the NBA. My incredible. heroes. Blake Griffin held this thing. Kobe Bryant held it. Chris Bosh. LeBron said Chris Bosh looks like Oscar, and he really does. You can do a side-by-side. All right, we'll have to get a photo. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing, but also the most exciting part for the fans who just truly were so excited, they would cry. Normally people cry when I walk into a room. It's because I'm strange. It's not because they're excited about something. Yeah. So it was very it different was, for me. It, the enthusiasm for fans was incredible. Okay, now that you've gone all the way across the country, what was your favorite stop at this point? I think Houston was my favorite stop because we did the NBA All-Star Weekend and then we crashed a wedding that night. Pretty big day. So the culmination of that day was like incredible. How about for you, Ben? I think that, maybe Valparaiso, Valparaiso, I don't even know how you say it, but it was a little town that was very excited. It's where Orville Redenbacher Popcorn is from, and popcorn and movies go hand in hand. The mayor came out, they had popcorn for us. They were very, ex they were exuberant, let's just say it that much. I love it. Tonight, who is your favorite star that you're ex excited to meet? I d I'm so like overwhelmed by the number of stars that are going to be here. I don't even know if I have a favorite. It's I'm, you know, I spent three weeks with Angie Greenup, still it's Angie Greenup for me. He's, he's good. Or Jack Nicholson, one of the two. 